The Avon Valley project is a landscape scale conservation project that's led by Devon Wildlife Trust and supported by South Devon Nature Trust. It spans an area covering about 17,000 hectares from South Brent to Bantham. The aim of the Avon Valley project is to make a more connected landscape. So we work with a range of landowners to give them the best, best advice we can on how to manage their, their land for wildlife. Riverfly monitoring is a way of monitoring water quality and that is a way of finding out what's going on on the farm and around. If something's wrong with the invertebrate population then we need to know about it and having regular checks on the numbers gives us that data and we can then relay that back to the Avon Valley project and they will assess where the project needs to go in the future. This field was first seeded with yellow rattle in 2012 and it's been developing ever since with more and more flowering plant and grass species coming through and now in 2017 we'll be harvesting yellow rattle seed from this site and uh, putting it on, on other sites. Let's see what we've got. So the whole aim of this is to create more wildflower rich areas, stepping stone sites for wildlife in what is a very uh, hard working farming landscape. We wanted to find out a bit more about what's going on with dormouse populations throughout the whole Avon Valley catchment. By doing these dormouse surveys, we're able to um, find out where more dormouse populations are and potentially use that information to link up habitats to enable these populations to move more freely amongst each other. The dormouse is called a flagship species. So if you've got healthy dormice populations, then it's an indicator that your wider environment, there's something good about it. So if, do if dormice are there, then a lot of other species are going to be there as well. So we check our nest boxes first thing in the morning when the dormice are still relatively dormant. And we approach the boxes nice and quietly so we don't disturb anyone. And we take out our stuffer, put it in the hole in the nest box to stop anything escaping. And then we're free to look inside and then we can weigh them, sex them, and all that data goes into the National Dormouse Monitoring Programme. Because landowners make up so much of the, the natural landscape, the way they manage it and the way they, they use it is very important in terms of the benefits or, or lack of benefits that they can provide for wildlife. We want to maintain the good habitats that we have. We want to be able to build, say, around the nature reserves, extend out so that we, we've got some security about the quality of those habitats and we want to see these, what we're creating, sustained in the longer term. So it's not just here for one year or two years, but 10 years, 50 years from now. It's people that makes a real difference for wildlife. What we do, what we decide to do on our land, how we manage it. It doesn't matter whether you've got one acre or a hundred acres. It doesn't matter whether you're a farmer, a doctor, a lawyer, whatever your background and whatever your aspirations are for your land, we want to hear from you.